Brothers and sisters from Fontana First Assembly, welcome and all my friends from internet right now. We're going to worship, we're going to praise the Lord, and we're going to hear a word from the Lord today. Today, Wednesday, uh, I got a good news. It's a wonderful day, wonderful afternoon from Fontana. Uh, First Assemblies of God here on the South, uh, California, United States. We welcome all brothers and sisters from everywhere. And I got a good news, good news for everyone who are listening right now. Now, um, this welcome is that this Sunday we're going to have a drive-in service. Drive-in service right here in Fontana First Assembly at 16580 San Bernardino Avenue in the city of Fontana. So we welcome you. But the surprise or the, the good news for this is that it's going to come Pastor Gary White. Yes, our uh, uh, beloved Pastor White, he's going to come from Arizona. He's going to share the word of the Lord. So Don't miss this wonderful service this Sunday at 9.30 right here in Fontana First Assembly. So let's get ready. Let's worship the Lord. Let's praise the Lord with these songs. Let's get our hearts ready for everything that the Lord has for each one of us. I'll raise a hallelujah. In the presence of my enemies, I'll raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief. I'll raise a hallelujah. My weapon is a melody. I'll raise a hallelujah. comes to fight for me oh i'll raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemies i'll raise a hallelujah louder than the unbelief i'll raise a hallelujah My weapon is a melody, oh, I'll raise a hallelujah, heaven come to fight for me, I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm, louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roar. Watch the darkness flee I'll raise a hallelujah In the middle of the mystery I'll raise a hallelujah Fear you lost your hold on me I'm gonna sing In the middle of the song Sing a little louder. 
sing a little louder. Sing a little louder in the presence of my enemies. Sing a little louder, louder than the unbelief. Sing a little louder, my weapon is a melody. Sing a little louder. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, God. We lift you up. We raise your hallelujah in this place. We glorify your name in this place. We exalt your name in this place. We raise our hallelujah. We raise our hallelujah. We raise our time with your hands up. I'll raise a to give. What a blessing it is to give in these times through our app Give Plus or our website. Here are the links and I just want to share a Bible verse. It is in 1 Chronicles 29, 13 and 14. It says, O oh God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I and who are my people that we could give anything to you? Everything we have has come from you and we give you only what you first gave us. We know, we know that everything that we have is from the Lord. He has given us so much. So today give with a cheerful heart because we know that he will keep giving his riches to his children. So where you are, just bow your head and close your eyes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you, Father, because you are with us. Thank you because you are providing. And in these times, we could trust you, Father. You are our trust. And today, we're going to give you 
We're going to give you with our whole hearts because that's what we want to do as your children. We praise you, Father. We honor you. We love you, Lord. Amen and amen. God bless you all.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful time of worship uh, right here from Fontana, First Assemblies of God. And uh, this uh, Wednesday night is a wonderful time to be on the house of the Lord and praising and worshiping the Lord. Uh, welcome for those who are right now and, and, and 
they are looking on, on the Facebook, they're joining us. Uh, I see many friends and, and family that right now they are joining us. God bless you. May the Lord bless you mightily. And this is a season where we can trust the Lord and, and rely on the Lord. Uh, I just want to tell you that this uh, Sunday we got a surprise news, a very nice surprise uh, news. On this Sunday we're going to have Pastor Gary White uh, coming to preach at the service 9.30 in the morning on our party. Parking lot. We are doing a service at the parking lot, so we're going to be transmitting live. We're going to have a, a service, drive-in service inside of the parking lot. We're going to worship the Lord, and our beloved Pastor Gary is going to share the word of the Lord coming from Arizona. So don't don't miss this moment. Uh, to, tell your brothers, your sisters, uh, that we're going to have a wonderful season, a wonderful time uh, receiving the word of the Lord. Uh, what, a, what a tremendous opportunity when you and me, we can gather together and go into uh, through this season, to this pandemic season, uh, and we can go even to church. We Even on this situation, we can go to the church uh, through the parking lot and worshiping the Lord. And the Lord is great and the Lord is blessed. How many say amen? And today uh, I would like to um, uh, give a word of the Lord on on Mark chapter 4, verse 35, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 of the word of the Lord. And uh, the word of the Lord says uh, like this, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 till 41, the name of the uh, message is raise the level of your faith. I already keep doing uh, the series on faith uh, so you can be uh, more secure on the Lord and uh, rely on the Lord. Mark chapter 4 verse 35 till verse 41. That evening Jesus said to the, his disciples, let's cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd they took Jesus along in the boat just as he was. Other boats were within him. A violent windstorm came up. The waves were breaking into the boat so that it was quickly filling up. But he was sleeping on a cushion in the back of the boat. So they walked him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to die? Then he got up, ordered the wind to stop, and say to the sea, Be still, absolutely still. And the wind stopped blowing, and the sea became very calm. He asked them, Why are you so cowards? Don't you have faith yet? Verse 41. They were overcome with the fear and asked each other, Who is this man? Even the wind and the sea obeyed him. Let's pray right now over this word. Father, we thank you for this wonderful moment to, to join two brothers together all over uh, California, all over this world, through the internet. Father, thank you because your word will not stop. You will, will be spread to every heart, every every person, every brother and sister, and it will be impartation from heaven. Your Holy Spirit is going to move on them. There's going to be a word of encouragement on brothers, and I ask that this message, it will be like a seed on the heart, that it will explode growing, Lord, growing of faith and trusting on the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we ask right now on your name, every demon, every enemy, every spirit against you, Lord, be cast out, rebuked in the name of Jesus. And we declare, Father, this season is a season of open heavens, open skies, open hearts to receive what you already have prepared for each one of us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. What a tremendous time that we had just worship here and we received the word of the Lord. And I would like to take some minutes 
to, to teach about uh, this uh, 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 message of faith. The message of faith, we need to be um, understand that uh, that message is the message that where, where we need to raise our level of faith. I hear the voice of the Lord constantly, Daniel, raise the level of your faith. Raise the level of your faith. And in these times that we are living, that they are very difficult, it's more than ever that we need to rely on the Lord. There's a lot of confusion going on. Many people, they have many opinions, and they hear something here and there, and that something doesn't mean that it's true. We need to stop listening all this conspiracy theory about the coronavirus. The theories may be or may be not have some amount of truth in the, however, part of the truth is not the truth. What I remember from the Bible, and this, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the truth is Jesus. We can trust the Lord Jesus Christ. We can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And we cannot live by suspicion. Uh, suspicion is a feeling through that something is possible, likely, or through. We need to live by faith. Tell your brother and your sister that is in your house, we need to live by faith. And if you want to say amen, you can press the like or you can give a heart right now or you can share right now. Yes, I believe. Yes, I believe we need to live by faith. And faith is the current coin on heaven. Everything moves by faith. When the Lord releases a word, he doesn't guess, well, it will come to pass, it will not come to pass. The word of the Lord, it will come to pass either way. And... Um, each of us, we have a, a, a destiny, a life going on. And that life, we can say like it's like a boat, like a ship, like a vessel. Your family, your, 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 your things that you're living on. And that boat has a purpose, has a direction. And you and I, we have some targets, some, some, some voices that we need to go forward, careers, maybe a professional career, maybe a development on, on the education, on finances. Uh, you need to accomplish those things. And you have natural targets, and you have financial targets, and you have also spiritual targets, where you and me, we need to grow more in the Lord. Right now, I praise the Lord because... The students of Global University are um, taking the final exam right here today on 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 this uh, uh, on this premise on the on the on on the uh, rooms, and uh, they're finishing a target. They're finishing the 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 season of ethics, ministerial ethics, and it's so nice, so encouraged to see them growing on the Lord, trusting on the Lord, looking that the Lord is is raising his their face, raising the knowledge, raise the responsibility. And Jesus is giving us a word, a definition, a orientation. Let's go to the other side. Let's go to a place. Let's have a target. Let's go to another size. And the Lord is waiting for you and me to respond to that call. Let's go. Let's cross this lake. This is going to be simple. And I imagine the disciples getting on, on that little boat and they said, this is a piece of cake. We can do it. We already been doing that many, many times. And it's not going to be a, a, a problem. Neither, neither of us, as, uh, the, the, everybody of us, we, we know how to swim and how to survive even storms. But something happened. And the word was, let's go to the other side. The word to go to the other side is a prophetic word. It's a word of challenges. When the Lord is sending the word, he expects it will come through. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 says, My word which comes from my mouth is like a rain and a snow. It will not come back without results, but it will accomplish whatever I want and achieve whatever I send it to do. So for the Lord, it's, 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 a, it's a task. It's, it's, it's a mandatory task. When he releases a word, that word will become true. The word to go to the next level. The, 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 the word to go to the other side. It's not a suggestion. It's an imperative mandate. 
There are different types of faith. I was looking on, on faith, and you have, every one of us, we have a natural faith. Uh, the, the, the natural trust in things that we already proven, that they're stable. For example, the faith on your chair that you are sitting right now. You already test that place. You already know that it will support you. So it's not faith towards God. You is faith on that little chair that you have. It's an, this natural faith has certain things around that have learned by experience as usually dependable. The following types of faith are the one the the light, the faith, and they go towards God. And these are the sanctified faith. It's different than the normal, natural faith. The sanctified faith in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20 says, I'm crucified with Christ. And I'm no longer lived, but Christ lives in me. The life that I live, I live by believing in God's Son, who loved me and took the punishment for my sins. So that believing is not just that you want it. You want to manage, you want to have the will of your life, and you want to do whatever you want. No, right now you die on, 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 on your, your desires, and you say, Lord, your will be done on my life. I give you the will of my life. I give you, I give you the direction, the plans, everything I give it up to you. Faith uh, that you understand that you can trust the Lord about the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. That faith that saves you, that faith that cleanses you, that faith that heals you. The sanctified faith enables the believer to live a holy life after conversion. It's a transformation life. I, I, I remember in the beginning of this year, we start to talk about transformation life. Transformation people, transformation life. We need to be transformed to the image of the Lord. And right now, for you and me, we need to rely and trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Our faith needs to be transformed too. It needs to to develop. It needs to be grow each time. And also there's a, the other level of faith and it's the defensive faith. The defensive faith faith is one of the weapons for the defense against the spiritual enemy from Satan. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 16 says, in addition to all these, take the Christian faith as your shield with it with it, you can put out all the flame arrows of the evil one. In, a, in, in other words, the armor that the Lord is equipping you, it has a shield of faith. A, 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 a shield of faith is that it will surround you, will protect you from all the attacks from the enemy. Say with me, the shield of faith. I have the shield of faith, uh, the protection from the arrows that will come from the enemy. The arrows will come, but you know what? You will not be hurt. Satan is trying to attack your faith by sending darts of unbelief into your mind. Having faith towards God provides a spiritual defense to the attacks. Psalms chapter 3 verse 3 says, But you, O Lord, you are a shield that surrounds me. You are my glory. You hold me, my head high. In other words, you, we need to ask the Lord uh, to increase our faith so that faith, it will, sh it will be surround us. It will shield, it will protect us. And you know what? Why we are need that? Because storms and attacks from the enemy, it will come. The storm of life, it will test us. It will, it will see what are we are made of. It will test the prophetic word that you already received. It will see if you are standing on the solid ground. And solid ground is not the natural faith. Solid ground is the faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 33 says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. 
In other words, this earth, it will end, but the words of the Lord, it will stand forever because he already said it. So maybe you forgot about the prophetic word that you received. Maybe you already forgot about what the Lord is asking you to do or where the Lord wants you to be. Where is the other side? Where is the other, the other step of, of going? And the prophetic word maybe from for your children, for your marriage, for your ministry, for your finances. And you see all this crisis that's going on right now. That's a storm that is testing us. They're checking what are you made? Are you trusting on your account? Are you trusting on how much money you have hiding over there? You are trusting of or your education. You are trusting on your um, uh, name of your family, of last name. You are trusting. What are you trusting? Because there are going to be storms. And the storms, they are going to test each one of us. And the attacks over my beliefs, over the things that I trust. There are many storms on life. This coronavirus uh, could be one, but also could be a sickness. Maybe some people are not sick through the, this pandemic disease, but they have another things. And right now they're struggling. They're suffering because uh, they don't want to go to the doctor because of uh, the situation. And they're waiting and waiting and waiting. But the Lord is, is asking you something. You need to understand that this storm is a seasonal storm. And we will pass through. We will see the other side side. Maybe the, 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 the storm that you're, you're having right now is called unemployment or infidelity or people problem. Uh, and now things are that you trust, the normal level of faith is not enough. So we need to develop that shield of faith, that sanctified faith towards God. We need to something larger and stronger. And that's the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord for the, 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 what the scripture, what we just read. We hear that they wake up Jesus. Tell your brother, we need to wake up Jesus. You and me, we need to wake up Jesus on your life. Let us be Jesus in action. Sometimes we say on life, I know how to handle my boat. I know how to handle my life. I know how to uh, uh, do things on, on, on my life. Let's put Jesus uh, on a nap. Let's put Jesus at sleep. And the only way to get a real faith in action is when the Lord Jesus Christ is well wake up in your life. To cry to him. To start to say, Lord, I need your help. Even on this simple situation, talk, talk to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Psalms chapter 107 verse 28 and 29 says, In their distress they cry out to the Lord. He lead them from their troubles. He made the storm calm down and the waves become still. What a wonderful word. That if we trust on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you and me start to trust on the Lord, you will see that this storm, it will calm down. Your God is going to be larger than the pandemic when we trust the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus has the power over your storm. We need to rely on him. We need to cry to him. And what we see on the, on the scripture, when Jesus wakes up, up and he saw what was happening happening around he rebuked the storm tell your brother and sister we need to rebuke the storm how many say amen sometimes we don't we say no that's that's too much i don't know if it's going to happen or it's not going to happen check it out on mark chapter 4 verse 39 when jesus woke up he rebuked the wind and said to the waves silence be still Suddenly, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. What a wonderful word. When you and me start to release that amount of words with faith, not without faith, not with doubt. Oh, maybe it will happen, it will not happen. Jesus, when we re he released the word to the wind and to the storm and to the waves, he was sure that the waves will obey to review means that it needs to be aligned to God's destiny. 
Review means to align to God's destiny. In other words, the the storm, it was not aligned to God's destiny. God says, you're going to go to the other side. We're going to cross over. So whatever is going on right now, you need to focus on rebuking the storm. means that you're going to pass over and you're going to go to the other side. How many say amen? Rebuke the sickness. It, it means that you need to align to God's healing power over your life. Rebuke the demons. How Jesus rebuked the demons. Demons, because demons were uh, in, in persons, and the Lord makes people free. Jesus makes people free. He rebuked the mother-in-law, Peter, the fever. He rebuked it. In other words, he aligned with heavenly healing over that life. He rebuked the waves. He rebuked even Peter uh, when he was talking uh, foolish things. Mark chapter 8 verse 33 says, but turning around and seeing his disciple, he rebuked Peter and said, get behind me Satan, for you are not setting your mind on God's interest, but man's. In other words, we need to put our mind on the Lord Jesus Christ and we need to put our mind on God's interest, not on our interest. Sometimes we would like to get out from our pandemic situation, our pandemic uh, storm. But more than that, we need to say, the Lord gave me this word. I'm going to be a father. I'm going to be a mother. I'm going to be a grandfather. So I, re I, I, I know that the Lord's going to accomplish that if I trust him. So our faith needs to align. Our faith needs to grow. How many say amen? Mark chapter 4 verse 40 says, Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? In other words, the Lord was putting like the measurement of, of the oil when you put on, on your car on the engine to see how much oil it has. They was measuring the, the, the faith of, of the, the disciples and said, these disciples on this situation, they don't have any faith. They walk only on the normal amount of faith. Uh, why you are afraid? Many people are afraid on these moments. Many people have the pandemic of, of, of fear. And we need to increase our level of faith. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3 says, We are bound to thank God always for you, brother, as it has meet, because your faith grows exceedingly. Thessalonians were, uh, were growing in their faith. Praise the Lord if we, that we can say right now in the Fontana Church, our church is raising the level of faith and believing on the supernatural, believing on the miracles, believing that the Lord is doing His job, believing that the hand of the Lord is moving around our families, our finances, our church. He has control of everything and nothing Nothing surprising. Someone say amen. Someone say praise the Lord. Why? Because for God, for my Lord, everything is possible for those who believe. Faith, uh, we need to increase that level of faith. Every day we need to increase it and develop that name. The new level of faith for you, it's a... Uh, it's, uh, it needs to be. It needs to be larger. It needs to be higher. It needs to reach the other side. Mark chapter eleven, verse twenty-two says, "Jesus replied to them, Have faith in God. I assure you, if you say to this mountain, Be lifted and throw into the sea, and does not doubt in their hearts, but believe that he has said, it will happen, and it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, all things you pray and ask, believe in that you have and receive them, and you will have them. What a wonderful word from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord 
tell you have the ability to speak not nonsense speak faith speak align with faith release the word and say to the mountains to the sickness to the situations i trust the lord jesus christ i gonna go to the other side i know that the end of this year i gonna say this is the greatest year that i ever experienced because the lord jesus helped me to go and to overcome and he was working on my life on my children on 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 my economy on the church i see the hand of the lord so you need to understand that if we're going to pray, we need to pray with faith. If we're going to talk, we need to talk with faith. We need to increase the level of faith when we talk to even to our neighbors, our wife, our husband, our children. We need to decree, we need to ordain, and it's the word that is a challenge. So it's easy to speak as something simple on your normal level of faith. But to go to the supernatural, we need to understand that the Lord is going to answer the prayers. Faith is on God. It's not faith on faith. Faith needs to be on God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, Without faith, no one can please God. Anyone who comes to God must believe that he is real and he rewards those who truly want find him. In other words, ways, there's no way that you're going to meet God without faith. You need to start maybe with the level of your normal faith and there start to develop, start to grow to the, the faith on the blood and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that cleanse you, that save you, and then the level of faith or shielding faith, the shield of faith, then it will surround you and it will bless you mightily. God has plans for each one of us. Destiny, promotions, objects. And the, the, we will receive a, a, a word today. The word, it says, we're going to cross to the other side. We're going to go to the next level. We're going to see miracles going on. And right now, I would like to pray for those who are in need, for those who right now are struggling, those who right now, they see that this pandemic storm over their lives, without job maybe, maybe without hope, maybe without, uh, the, the situation is really dark. I would like to encourage you. I would like to pray over your life. I would like to decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ then the Lord has a word for you. And if you believe that word, if you start to trust the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart, the Lord will, will make you past this storm, past this pandemic, past the fear storm, because we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. So let me pray for you right now. Whatever you are, just close your eyes and, and raise one of your hands and say, Lord Jesus, right now, I would like to have more faith. I would like to increase my level of faith. The level of faith to cross to the other side, to move myself to the destiny, to the target, to the objective that you already put on my life. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I trust you. I trust for my salvation. I trust you for my healing. I trust you, Lord, for my well-being. I trust you with my family, with my children. I trust you with all my heart. And I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, He is the Son of God. He resurrected from the dead. And He's interceding for us right now. And He sent His Holy Spirit, the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit over us. Father, we praise you, we worship you, we believe on you, and we know, Father, that if we trust on you, you're going to become a shield against the darts of the enemy, against the storms and situations. Father, right now, I rebuke sickness in the precious name of Jesus. I rebuke right now sickness, any kind of sickness. Father, in the name of the Lord, I rebuke the coronavirus. I rebuke the spirit of death the spirit of sickness. I declare right now all bodies healed in the precious name of Jesus. By his stripes we are healed. We are empowered. We receive 
all the healing power of the Lord. Father, in the name of the Lord right now, I ask for those who are struggling, Lord, with loneliness. I, Lord, those people who are, Lord, alone, they're forgotten. Lord, Father, right now, that you surround them with your presence, your Holy Spirit touch him. The Lord will touch you mightily right now. I feel the anointing of the Lord over that family, over that elderly, senior citizen. Father, touch them in the precious name name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I ask you, Lord, that we may re, Lord, revive our faith, go to the next level, Lord, and trust you with all our heart. Father, we pray on the precious name of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. What a wonderful word that we receive today. I, I, I pray that, that the Lord put this word inside of your heart and that seed and its faith it will grow it will explode and you start to openly talk about faith and challenging also on this situation to cross to the other side from here from fontana first assembly pastor daniel pastora raquel we were we we love you we we miss you we would like to see you this following sunday in the parking lot service at 9 30 in our church it will be a wonderful time to join us and and, and pray and remember pastor gary is going to uh, releasing the message on sunday so 9 30 sharp attention 9 30 sham we have a frame of time because the next service starts at 11 and 9 30 we're going to have our drive-in service on uh, fontana first assemblies of god we are located on 16580 san bernardino avenue the city of fontana remember we love you we pray for you and we hope to see you soon may the lord bless you mightily Thank you.